Right, just a quick video today to show you how I turn a piece like this. Um, this is a plumb bob that I made the other day and it's turned out really well. Um, this is a stainless steel end here with this angle on. And I'm going to be showing today the Chinese mini lathe with my variable speed compound drive set turning the angle. I've shown it in use on my um, MyFed ML7 but I've never shown it in use on my Chinese mini lathe. So this is my variable speed compound drive set um, for turning angles or whatever on the lathes. Made up out of a transformer and several other components from Banggood and I'll put the links below for these. Very easy to make up and I have full control over the um, voltage, the amps and then I have the speed of the unit or the motor and then I have forward and reverse on this switch here and off. And that one goes down to my um, unit that I made up here some time ago for the MyFed ML7. You buy these off of um, Banggood as well. These are um, high um, torque gearboxes, worm drive gearboxes with a motor already um, fitted and all you have to do is make up this part here to fit on the end of the um, compound handle or the um, slide handle and they make great tools for turning good finishes on angles. So the drive unit just connects quickly to the variable speed um, transformer unit that I've just shown and I've got a push button on switch here and then with my left hand I can control the forward and reverse and you can get different types of drive units this is another one that I've made up this is a 12 volt one with 30 rpm I think this is um, 0 to 20 volt and a faster rpm plus I can actually turn the rpm up on that um, unit that I've just shown I've made up a simple adapter here so that it connects to the compound drive handle so it just slots on the end here like that and then I can drive it like this. And having a compound drive like this ensures that you get a very good finish on the um, angle because you're not stop starting by winding the handle manually, which you have to do if um, you're actually turning an angle like that. This one can drive over the full length of the angle so you don't get any um, stoppages and no um, ugly lines within the angle. Also to get a good finish on steel or any other material um, you want to use the larger um, radius tools. Um, I'll put a link below for these. These are the blue nano type. I forget exactly the insert but I'll um, put that one below. This is the actual tool. And I was very pleased when I went on Banger to see that they do these large radius ones now. And because the angle goes over a long um, surface, I need to start the um, compound drive uh, way back here. So I've altered my um, gibbs nicely. There's no movement whatsoever, even though it's wound back this far. And this gives the full length of travel for the car. And I'm running at about 690 RPM.
and you can see there the finished job just a quick polish and it's a lovely smooth finish